You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. And joining me now is Toby Redshaw, SVP at Verizon. Toby, thanks for joining us today. Yep. What new demands are consumers placing on our communications networks? So I think in part because of a lot of the buzz around 5G and its potential, I think you're going to see an acceleration and uh, an intensification of demands from consumers. You know, that whole consumerization of IT that started with the iPhone coming out and those expectations coming up, I think you're going to see that multiplied more. So the, the service that network providers are going to have to provide and the solutioning and platforming up the stack, I just think you're going to see bigger, um, stronger demands from consumers and from enterprises for us to deliver. And how is Verizon transforming its network to become more flexible, agile, more cloud-like? So the whole 5G spec is a software-defined cloud-native spec, right? So we're moving there very fast. We believe it's a difficult transformation. We believe this is very new technology. The difference between 4G and 5G is large. So the earlier in getting the dirt under your fingernails working this with this, the better it is. I don't think it's a, oh, we're great at networks, this is going to be easy. I think even if you are the leader, if you've won you know, the top six prizes 11 years in a row in America, um, you still have to get stuck in and you have to get there first and you have to get the learning. So we're very, uh, we're humbly passionate about doing that. What's your reaction to Intel's plans to introduce the Cascade Lake Xeon scalable processors that are optimized for network workloads? So I, my reaction to what I've just seen uh, here at the Intel booth at MWC is, is very, very positive. It's a continuation of what I've seen from Intel for a long time. They were members of the 5G tech forum early on, going all the way back into 16, where we were moving standards along getting again that learning, going out into test markets in 17. Uh, they were right there with us uh, all along. So I think the intellectual, scientific, technology horsepower at Intel, now focused on this, is, is going to deliver some really good uh, output for the whole industry. And I, and I think it has a gravitational pull for others. So uh, very pleased with what we saw today. Toby, thank you very much indeed. Yep.